On 5 News, who's next for the COVID vaccine? Also today, one's had one's jab. Welcome to 5 News, I'm Claudia Liza. It's your age, not the job you do, that will determine when you get the COVID jab. Health bosses laid out the next targets for the UK's vaccine rollout today and rejected calls to prioritise frontline workers. Instead, once the current groups have had their first jabs, it will be people in their 40s, followed by those in their 30s, then all other adults. They insist it's the fastest way to cut deaths. Here's our health correspondent, Catherine Jones, on the final phase of the vaccine rollout. And Catherine joins me now. Uh, so Catherine, these latest figures really showing that things aren't going in the right direction. Yes, the vaccine figures. Well, as you heard from Catherine, more than 19 million people have now had their first dose of a COVID vaccine. Well, for the Queen to talk about her own private health is almost unheard of, but that is what she has done in a very public show of support for the vaccination programme. Now, she told leaders of the rollout it was important for people to get the jab and that hers didn't hurt at all. Well, alongside that endorsement, there was also a candid message to the reticent. Think of others, not just yourself. Here's our royal correspondent, Simon Vigar. Well, while the Queen had her message to get across, grandson Harry was making his own feelings known on rather different matters. In an interview on American TV, he accused the British press of being toxic and said they were destroying his mental health. He said he did what any husband or father would do and moved his family away. As Vincent McAvinney reports, there were some more light-hearted moments as well. OK, still to come on 5 News. To the break. Welcome back. The former Scottish First Minister Alex Salmond says the current administration has failed over the botched handling of sexual assault allegations against him. Mr Salmond told an inquiry that key evidence was suppressed during the investigation by Nicola Sturgeon's administration. He said it acted illegally, yet no one is taking the blame. He was cleared of all charges against him during a trial last year. Alan Jenkins reports. And Alan, these are some extraordinary allegations um, from Alex Salmon towards his successor, who's giving um, her own evidence speaking next week. Next, the UK's highest court has ruled that Shamima Begum, who joined so-called Islamic State as a teenager, cannot return to Britain. The 21-year-old had been fighting the government's decision to bar her on national security grounds. Well, Julian Druka is at the Supreme Court for us now. Uh, so, Julian, first of all, give us some background to this ruling. Feeling, what's the reaction been? In other news today, public places could be forced to improve their security measures in the wake of the Manchester Arena bombing. Now, finally, tinkering with old cars and motorbikes is a classic retirement hobby. Well, there's tinkering and there is what Keith Terry from Essex has been up to. Over the past three years, he souped up his 1980s scooter into a speed machine. And for his troubles, he's broken four world records. Steve Hargrave went to catch up with him. Look at him go. Uh, before we go, there's just time to tell you what's coming up on 5 News tonight. Well, I'm going to... well that's it for now. Ada McGiven has weather next. Hopefully see you in around an hour. Bye for now. <laughs>